Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to add a snort effect in just Photoshop in case you don't own a snort to create that nice and beautiful background color for your photos in Camps Photoshop. And in case you want to download these effects used in this very tutorial, simply check the link in the video description to download this couple of snort effects to apply them to your images in case you want to follow along with this tutorial. And in addition, I'll show you how to simply add color to that kind of snort effect that you apply to the image. So just come the image that you want to add the snort to. And after that, just simply come and make a selection of the image by coming to select and come to subject. And Photoshop is going to help us to automatically select the subject. And sometimes it may miss out some areas. So simply come and get the quick selection tool and make sure the new selection mode or the plus option is selected and add you click to add a given selection in case it is missing and in case you want to remove a selection use the minus option so once you have done that the next step is simply going to be to copy and paste the subject onto a blank layer by pressing ctrl c ctrl c or you can use command c then press command v to place the subject onto its own background then come to the background and select it after selecting the background just come to your snort effects so ensure that you import the images alongside this snort png file and after importing it just come and get the rectangular market tool and with this simply click over the effect that you want to put over the image so just come and use this so click just like this and make a selection click and drag down to select the effect that you want to use then press ctrl c or you can use command c to copy then come to this image with the background layer selected press command v or you can use ctrl v to paste the effect once you have pasted the effect we are simply going to come to this layer right click on it and you come to convert to a smart object the reason for doing this is because we want to be able to change the values later on regarding the size and scaling of the effect after doing that you are just going to come to the blend mode and change the blend mode from normal to screen and you can see it is going to hide that effect into the background so in order to rescale or to resize the snort effect you can press command t or you can use ctrl t on the keyboard and you can hold down the option key on the keyboard or the alternate and you drag up the corners or the edges to resize the effect i'm just going to make sure it is somehow small and drag it towards this side i feel like this is okay then you can simply hit enter or return so in case you want the effect to look a little bit better and natural simply come to filter come to blur and come to, ga to gaussian blur so filter blur and select gaussian blur like that and you can choose the effect so take the radius all the way down to 0 0.1 and click on the radius slider and drag it up to slightly blur the effect so that it can look better and somehow realistic so hit ok so you can see this is what we have. So in case you want to change the values of the Gaussian blur, you can simply double click on the Gaussian blur and you can simply change the radius of the effect. So that is how you can apply it. So in the next image, I want to show you how you can even enhance that to add glow or to change color of the snoot effect over the image. So once again, you're going to come to select, select the subject, and Photoshop is going to do its job and you can see it has done a pretty nice job then we are going to simply press ctrl C then ctrl V or you can use command C then command V to paste this onto a new layer after that come and select the background layer then come to the snoot effects that you imported earlier on in Photoshop alongside the images that you're trying to edit then for this, we're just going to get the rectangular market tool. Then click and drag down to make a selection over the snoot effect. 
So after that, press Ctrl C, Command C for Mac, then come to the image. So with the background layer of the image selected, then press Command V to paste the snoot effect. Then we're just going to convert this to a smart object so that we can be able to change the values later on. And you can see a smart object has this icon. After that, you can press Ctrl T or you can use Command T on the keyboard and hold down the Option key on the keyboard and resize the snoot effect to your test or to your liking. Then hit Enter or Return. Then change the blend mode of the snoot effect from normal and change it other than to screen. And the screen blend mode is going to automatically hide the black effect. And this is what we have right now. So we are simply going to come to filter, black, come to Gaussian blur, and add any value so that the effect can look to be blurry and it can look a little bit natural and realistic. So we just want to add color or any random color to the snoot effect. So we are going to come to the adjustments right here. Then you're going to come to hue and saturation. <laughs> so after creating a hue and saturation adjustment layer, we are going to click on this icon, the clipping mask icon right here. Or you can simply move your cursor to the middle of the snoot layer and the hue and saturation layer and hold down the option key on the keyboard. Or you can hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and you click and the effect is going to be clipped onto the snoot layer. So after that, we're going to come to the hue and saturation properties. And first of all, click on colorize. And after clicking on colorize, we're just going to come to saturation and take the saturation all the way up. And you can see right now, the snoot effect is now having this kind of beautiful color. So you can come the hue values and you change the hue to your taste or to your liking, just like this. So we, we could go with this kind of effect. It looks great. Yeah, I feel like this is okay. Or you can even go with this color. So after that, you can even come to the saturation and you try to reduce on the saturation in case it is too much for your taste or for your liking. So if you want to resize this, select this snoot layer, then press Command T or you can use Control T on the keyboard and you can resize this to your taste or to your liking and ensure to hit Enter or Return. And to change the blur value, double click on the Gaussian blur option and you can change the Gaussian blur values to your liking. <coughs> Sorry. So this is how you can simply add a snoot effect from or within Photoshop, you can see this is the image initially before, after, before, after. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.